you're doing. And today we're going to do a little makeup video and this is how to get full fucking glam at 7am on a Thursday morning. I think that's the question. The honour to be here today in full fucking glam at 8am on a Thursday morning. <laughs> Um, this is just how I like to get full glam. This is kind of my go-to kind of thing. So if that's something you're interested in, then keep on watching. So I've done all my moisturizer and all that kind of thing. But primer, and we're going to start with the PS Prep and Perfect. This is the Bobbi Brown dupe, I believe. This was £4.50 and it's from Primark. Oh, I don't know the price of everything, but I'm going to go through as much as possible. But yeah, we're just going to douse that all over the face. So I would do this if I was, uh, I did this going to like my friend's wedding, most of it kind of thing. Um, special occasion. Oh yeah, I like this. I really like this primer because I'm a dry skin galley. And oh my God, it just makes me so smooth. But I also, not only a dry skin girly, I'm a poor girly. So the e.l.f. Putty Primey, Putty Primey? Putty Primer is a must have for me. So I just kind of put it in a few different We're going to annoy and ignore Barry. This is Barry the Boulder. Um, I don't know why. I do it like all over. But it's mostly this sort of area and then we don't watch it but we're not we're gonna know barry he's gonna be gone soon uh, oh my god i i'm not sure primers do much but my skin feels good my skin feels <laughs> now the primer is all done um we are I'm actually going to do eyes. Um, I do really like doing my eyes first. Um, so this is the Conceal and Define Revolution Concealer. And this is in C6. That took me too long to say. I love this concealer. And then just bluff it, bluff it out. Oh, my words are so good. Come learn the English language from Pilco. You definitely will get it right every every single time. The original Soph palette. That is very well loved. And we're going to take, I believe this is called, I think this one's called Rosewood. And then whatever this one's called here. So a clean little brush like this. And we're just going to create a wing thing to get technical terms here I like it as much as possible and if it's a bit messy you don't care because we fix it afterwards blend it we just kind of want to put it in the right area right now <laughs> going to take a very stained but clean brush and we're going to blend it right out and then blend blend I'm going to go in with the Studio London um, this is in Gifted Gold Now, just gonna, this is hella pigmented. So I'm just like, getting a little bit. We're gonna see what I mean. And build this shit up. I've not used these too often, but I know them. Yeah, enough of that. We don't put those on to start with. Imagine with the wing, it 
is already coming together. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna ignore the knife, the knife, the knife, the eyes for now. We're gonna go with the Elf Halo Glow in the shade Light Fair to Light. I was trying to remember the shade name then. Is it good on here? Shade Two Fair Light, yeah. And we're just gonna dip it all over the face. I heard the thing, every time I put this on, I'm like, it doesn't look like a shade, but then I blend it out and it blends so good. So, because it blends really sheer, I think you need to get that shade darker appearance at least. So, just a tip if you are going to get the foundation, well, it's a skin tone, but if you are going to get it, get it one shade darker because. Just blend like, look at that. I'm definitely like a fair, fair-ish, but most fair is a little bit too light for me, so which is why I got this. We're then gonna go with the Revolution Skin, skin Seal and Define in F6. <laughs> oh my god, that is loads there. Just to give it like a full coverage, but... I don't wear this foundation too much anymore because I feel like it went in my wrinkles a lot. Like, especially like my crow's feet, which I'm... Heading towards 30, I'm getting some wrinkles, but I'm fine with it. Where's the Botox? I'm joking. No, I'm actually like, okay, getting a few wrinkles. But yeah, which is why I changed to a skin tint though. But yeah, blend, blend, blend this out. Them two together is a bloody dream. Okay. I will just go over with the Beauty Blender. Which is something I like to do with my foundations. But I will be going over it again in a minute anyway. Full fucking glam. We are going to use that same concealer again. We're going to down the nose. I tend to get it off my nose a lot. So I do tend to... We're going to... Literally. Barry does not want to leave me. That's my own doing like the weed leaf. Oh, am I just that freaking old? And then I pretty much always, well, I don't use concealer too much anymore, but if I do, it probably is with the beauty blender or just the, whatever this is because it's technical beauty blender. We are going to use the iconic London, uh, the precise duo. This is for my contour. So just trying to use these up because I have too much makeup. I mean, I'm, I really don't in comparison to like YouTubers, but and if you know the reference, you know YouTubers. But I'm slowly adding up my makeup, which I, in some ways I love, especially when it comes to like certain products, projects that I'm using, that I'm doing soon, but I'm not sure I love this anymore. I'm using the Chanel, a Chanel dupe, but it's the uh, collection one, and it's definitely a lot better. And then we're going to contour the nose, because no matter how many times people say I have a skinny nose, I have the need to contour it under the chin and under the lips and then we go back in but with the powder <laughs> and then for a little bit of blush we're going to use the cha-cha tint 
by a benefit. They blend in like a dream. Had to put powder on top and using collection blush into bashful. Now I've stopped doing powders much lately until I started using the Halo Glow, but I feel with full fucking glam, you do need some some powder. So we've just got this loose powder. I believe, yes, it would be. It is the Revolution, like banana powder, whatever it was called. But it was such an awkward container. I brought this. messy but at least i can get it out so we're just gonna you know what we're gonna bake today not something i do it quite that often but i mean i don't go full fucking lamb too often we're not gonna bake for too long though um you know what that's probably about enough time don't think you should ever bake for too long, just enough for it to settle in for a second. The next step is brows. We are using the very end of a Rimmel pencil. Um, I believe this is an ebony, but I've had it for so long, I can't remember. So I just kind of do the outline of it, but I don't fill in the middle. Cause I've got a little trick that's probably done by numerous people. So it's probably nothing too groundbreaking. Now this does look rather weird. But then I get a light pencil in blonde and I do the front. And blend it in. And look. Ombre effect without adding it having to do it. A little cheat for you there if you didn't know that. Probably. Damn girl. My eyebrows are thick. I do like thick eyebrows if I'm doing glam though. Because they do. They do be popping. And then we're using the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. Um, just give it a good, good fluffy. And then gonna be using High Beam by Benefit. I love a Benefit, I'm a Benefit girl. And here, and I just like to pat this most of the time. At least a liquid one of it. Do it on the brow bone. And I'll be honest, this is mostly with my ring finger, so I do apologise. And then, of course, let's not forget the inner corner. I love the highlight on my inner corner. I used to do it way too much. But still, I loved it. Okay, we'll just leave that to dry for a moment or two. We're gonna go back in with the brown shade. We're gonna do my bottom lashes. Most ever looks, I will do the other color in the hidden corner, but because I'm highlighting it, I think I'm just staying with the matte brown. We're then gonna go with the Love Island Revolution <laughs> Highlighter Oof I am, I don't have a smaller brush right now that I haven't used So, I might just have to use my finger So now that all of that is done We are done with the face part, part of it really we're going to be use the W7 Dewy Fixer, as I have said. I don't use, I, I'm not using this very often because it does hurt my face. 
but it lasts. And if you're doing full fucking glam, you want something to last. And this lasts. Well, then I'm going to use the Rimmel Wonder Ink Lash Eyeliner. <laughs> Just gonna curl the lashes. I'm just gonna, gonna use another benefit bang, bang, bad girl lashes. My favorite mascara. I don't normally use it just by itself, but we just need a little coat today, so. Then we only need a little coat because it's full fucking glam. So we're using some lashes. Don't ask me where the other one's gone. I'm so sad. So we're just going to use the second biggest ones because we're not going to do full, full glam for that one. Well, full glam that I have. We're going to end with a little duo. This is <clears throat> the Revolution Exoth collaboration. I believe this is in Toffee Apple. So this is the lip liner. I don't need lip liner very often. This is actually the only lip liner I own. So that's the lip liner on and then this lip balm so you can either leave it like that or i like a little bit of gloss with this one and that is the finished makeup look what do you think full fucking glam at 7 a.m on a thursday morning i'll be honest it's about <laughs> i think it was like after so, let me know what you think. Oof, I actually really like this. I want to go full fucking glam every day. This is what makes me want to do. But this is not socially acceptable every day. Unfortunately, but yes. If you like this, please let me know and give it a like. Let me know in the comments what other kind of videos you want me to do. And subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.